Hello everyone, you're tuning in to A Handful of Blessings, I'm McKinnon 1114. Um, I thought I would come and show you the hairstyle I'm going to wear this week. Um, actually, this hairstyle I'm about to do is uh, by request, actually. Um, someone asked me to do the Alicia Keys um, hairstyle that I did in one of the uh, slideshows when I had micro braids in. And this was the second one, I think. I think the name of the celebrity inspired hairstyles, I'm not sure exactly which video it is. Um, but like I said, I had micro braids in at that time when I did the hairstyle, so I decided to try to do the tutorial on my hair. Um, first off, um, I'm going to have to add some hair to my hair, mainly for the fullness part of it, which is not going to be so bad out of this. Um, I'm in dire need of a relaxer. Um, I'm stretching my relaxer out. The last, I permed my hair, I only permed my hair one time since I took my micro braids out. So, um, it's not that bad. I actually can go a while longer, but, well, I am going to go, going to go a while longer. Okay, first off, you want to put like a little small part in your hair, like I have right there, in the side. And basically what you want to do, I'm probably going to have to do this off camera because I need to go to the other mirror. Plus, I got a lot of smoothing out I need to do. So, I'm just going to show you a rough draft of what I'm going to do. You want to take it and you want to put put your hair in the ponytail, and I'm gonna put it probably put a little bit higher, about right here. Not center your head, but kind of. So I'm gonna put my ponytail about right there. I'm gonna go smooth it down. Um, uh, the products I'm gonna use um to get my hair smooth, I'm gonna put spritz on it this time. This is the Motion Lightweight Spritz. So this is probably the only thing that's going to smooth my edges out, hopefully. And um, if not, I'll have to go get some gel. I don't have any gel in the house because I never use it. But I will have to go buy some. And um, just to put a little bit around the edges of my hair. That's it. So I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail and I'll be right back. Ponytail in, as you can see. Uh, next, um, uh, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to actually curl my hair on the end. Just a little a curl on the end. Uh, ring curly like on the end uh, before I put the extensions in my hair mainly because um, I won't be able to tell that it'll be a little easier I'll put it that way to tell what part is not curled so I already have my cur curlers plugged up and they're hot already so I'm just gonna turn it just a little bit on the ends and um, the only reason why I'm, I'm doing my hair like this and I'm putting spritz in because I'm going to wash my hair next week. Um, I'm not going to relax it yet. Um, I'm going to stretch my, I'm going to stretch my relax out probably another two weeks. So, yeah, it don't have to be just no perfect, perfect curl, but I just want it so it won't be so straight on the end, so. When I get ready to start pinning it, it'll um, my hair won't be sticking out. Hopefully, so yeah. I mean that's good enough right there. And uh, this is the hair that I use when um, this is the hair I'm gonna use. Rather, it's human hair. I think it's 18 inches. I bought it when I um, I was gonna do my micro braids with it, but I didn't like the hair because um, you have to put slip knots in it to keep it from coming down, which I. Don't, I don't like putting slip knots over my whole head when I do micro braids, mainly because of the pain taking them down. So, um, I'm going to use this as, it's human hair, I'm going to use this as, um, to extend my ponytail. Now, the way I put it in, it's no, I'm, I don't try to do it neatly or anything like that to keep it from being bulgy or whatever, because the way I'm going to pin my hair up, it really don't matter, um, how neat it is in there. So, what I do is, which is the easiest way for me. Instead of trying to put a rubber band over all this hair and take this through the rubber band, I do just the tip of it. And I lay it in my hair like this. Lay it on top of it. This is the hair. I'm standing here. And I just put a rubber band on it. Like this. and pull it a little bit and then I just let overlap this on top of it like that and like I said it don't really matter how it's in there 
mainly because I'm, I'm finna be pinning and all that stuff to the hair anyway, so it don't really matter. Um, and I, I don't have to worry about it coming down or anything. Now, if I was wearing it as a ponytail, ponytail, um, I would wrap it in a lot better. Okay, next, what I'm gonna do is spray. I left my spritz on the dresser. I'm gonna spray a little spritz on the end of the hair, and I'm gonna take my curlers and curl it just like I did the, uh, my my ponytail here, and I'll be right back and show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I finished curling it, as you can see how it is on the end. Um, next, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna need a lot, a lot of bobbin pins, the ones with the ridges on them. Um, I might use some of the little small hair pins too, like these. I'm not sure. Next, what I'm going to do is spray my hair with oil sheen right quick. I'm going to do it again afterwards. And I'm going to spray the hair too, so as I'm pinning it, I can be rubbing the oil sheen in at the same time. Okay, I'm turning around so you can see. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start off pinning my base down, which is the shape of it. That's what I'm going to start off doing. So, like I said, I know the hair hangs kind of crazy. section off some hair. And pull it through like that. And there is no, uh, there really is no, uh, I'll leave it hanging out. I'll leave the ends out for a while, for a minute. And you want to do that, do that method all the way around, like this, until you uh, create your base that you want, the shape that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, my camera cut off from me. I had to charge the battery up. So I did some of my hair. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much of it um, filmed because I didn't pay attention to it when the camera cut off. So um, what I did now, I pinned this some of my hair forward in the front like this mainly because I'm going to use this for the middle I want to do the bottom half of my head now so the rest of the hair I can have it to play with I can move it and adjust it where I want it to uh, move it to so now I'm going to start by taking some of my hair and um, I'm some of them I did like this I don't know if they caught on camera or not some of them uh, like I did I, I twisted it like this and then pulled it through like that like in a knot but this uh the bottom half of my hair in the middle of my hair I'm doing it like this I'm just wrapping it like this and pinning it Go get some more bottoms like that. So, I'm gonna make sure I get some of these curls on this side too. Yeah. 